In this lecture, we will discuss how we can prepare 1 m solution of NaOH. And now let us say we can we have to prepare 1 liter solution. So my target is to prepare 1 m solution, 1 m NaOH solution. And this we have to do in laboratory. So this is done in lab. That is equipment, flask, big machines and NaOH solid all these are basically available. So we have the equipments and solid NaOH is given to you. So how will you proceed? So I have to prepare 1 m NaOH solution. And let us say I want to prepare 1 liter solution. So 1 liter. So how will you do this? Now what is the meaning of 1 m NaOH? And this is simple. When I say 1 m NaOH, this means 1 mole of NaOH NaOH and this is in 1 liter solution. 1 liter solution. This is important here. This is 1 liter solution, not 1 liter of water or that 1 liter of uh, basically solvent. In this case, when I have NaOH solution, solute is NaOH. and solvent is water. So water is solvent in this case we have. Now let us say what is the weight of 1 mole of NaOH. So now I am interested in weight of NaOH required weight of NaOH required. Now this is 1 mole into molecular weight. So what is the molecular weight of NaOH? So 23 plus 16 plus 1 so this is 40 gram per mole so this is the molecular weight of NaOH so we have to multiply this by molecular weight that is 40 gram per mole so mole cancels so we will have 40 gram NaOH is required in this case so I can say 40 gram NaOH is required now how to prepare so first task is bait the step one we will have that is the step one you can say we have to bathe the 40 gram of NaOH solid so B so first task is we 40 gram NaOH solid using the baying machine using the balance using the digital balance if you have in the laboratory using digital balance. Now next step, so now I have 40 gram NaOH. I have to have 1 liter solution that contains 40 gram of NaOH. Some people will say what I should to do in the next step. So he will say take 1 liter water, take 1 liter water and dissolve 40 gram NaOH, 40 gram NaOH. So what he is doing basically he is taking 1 liter water so this is 1 liter and he is putting NaOH 40 gram NaOH. But this is a wrong idea because you see in this case volume final volume will be more than 1 liter because 1 liter water and we have added 40 gram of NaOH so in this case volume will be more so this is not a good practice. So volume of final solution in this case volume of final solution final solution will be more than more than 1 liter but we want final solution 1 liter so this is not a good idea and some people will say you take 960 gram of water so some so 9 so 0.96 or 9, 960 ml so he will say why not you take 960 ml of water and then add 40 gram of NaOH 40 gram of NaOH 40 gram of NaOH and this is again he is doing wrong because if you see 960 gram plus 40 gram of NaOH not it will not be finally 1 liter so 40 gram NaOH does not mean that 40 gram NaOH will have 40 ml because density of NOH is not 41 gram per ml. So this is again in this case final volume. This volume is not 1 liter. So final volume in this case again not 1 liter. 
so final volume is not 1 liter final volume in this case is also not 1 liter because density of NaOH is not 1 gram per ml density of NaOH is not 1 gram per ml so this idea is also wrong that 960 ml water if I add so what should I do so we, we will follow this kind of a step so what you have to do is a step number 2 that is the right step we have to take a volumetric flask so let us say this is the volumetric flask I have and this volumetric flask and we have to add let us say 40 gram of so let us say first take some water so take 40 gram of so some water and not necessary how much so let us take some water and then add 40 gram of NaOH in this volumetric flask and then mix this one so what we have to do in the second step take some water take some water mix 40 gram NaOH 40 gram NaOH and then finally what we have to do add sufficient water so in the third step so this is the flask we have and then we have to add sufficient water so that final volume becomes 1 liter so third step will be add sufficient water so that final volume becomes 1 liter so this is the procedure that we have to follow uh, basically in this case now you see uh, why we are mixing here 40 gram because in this case uh, if you take 1 liter and then add 40 gram that is not good idea or if you take 960 gram and add 40 gram this is also a good idea but in this case final volume of solution is 1 liter that is exact so final volume of final volume of solution in this case is basically 1 liter you see in this case we have also taking account of if there are some heat so NaOH will react with water it will release some heat and due to this heat some water will evaporate but finally we are adding sufficient water so that the final volume is 1 liter so we are also taking account of heat generation due to dissolution of NaOH so in this case we are taking we are also considering we are also considering the heat generation heat generation due to mixing of due to mixing of NaOH this means if you mix NaOH some water some heat will be some heat will be there and that will cause to change in volume so change in volume due to heat release is also taking into account in this case because finally we are adding water so that the final volume becomes 1 liter so this is the way to prepare 1 liter of NaOH solution